My name is Andrea Carnes, and I'm Chief Curator at the Modern Art Museum of Fort Worth and curator of Teresa Hubbard and Alexander Burschler's exhibition, Flora. Hubbard and Burschler have been working collaboratively since 1990. Their work in film, photography, and sculpture is propelled by their interest in history, memory, and narrative structure. And they probe things like how to unpack a story, how to tell a story, and who's telling it. Flora is based on Hubbard and Burschler's discoveries about an unknown American artist, Flora Mayo, who in the 1920s had a love affair in Paris with the Swiss sculptor Alberto Giacometti. While Giacometti is one of the most celebrated artists of the 20th century, Flora Mayo's oeuvre has been destroyed and her biography relegated to a footnote in Giacometti's scholarship. Hubbard and Burschler reframed this history from a feminist perspective to bring Flora Mayo's compelling biography to life, and they do it using a hybrid form of storytelling. Flora and its accompanying work, Bust, premiered in the 57th Venice Biennale in the Swiss Pavilion in an exhibition titled The Women of Venice, curated by Philip Kaiser. At the modern, the exhibition has been expanded into three components. In the first room is the work Bust, which consists of a reproduction of a destroyed sculpture and a lost photograph belonging to Flora Mayo. The image shows Flora Mayo and Alberto Giacometti sitting alongside the bust she made of him circa 1927. And at the time, both of them were art students studying at the Grand Chimere in Paris. This image was Hubbard and Burschler's conceptual springboard for creating Flora. In the second room is a double-sided film installation, and it's titled Flora. In the middle of this room is a suspended screen with a different film playing on each side simultaneously. The two different stories share the same soundtrack. On each side, Hubbard and Burschler utilize a different cinematic style. Flora is a genesis of Hubbard and Burschler's approach of working with experimental narrative structures, a hybrid language combining narrative and documentary styles. On one side is David Mayo, Flora Mayo's son, who Hubbard and Burschler found after an exhaustive international search. David talks about what he remembers about his mother's life. On the other side is Flora Mayo working in her studio in Paris in 1927. She is creating the bust of Alberto. In voiceover, we hear her talking about her life as an artist in Paris. One evening we went together to a party there were a lot of people there, and in particular, there was one girl whom I thought was very attractive. I mentioned this to Alberto on the way home in a taxi. And he said, there are a lot of girls like that, but only one Flora. We learn about Flora's life of wealth and privilege and how she lost that life, and as a single mother, abandoned art to take care of her son. It's a very touching and paradoxical conversation between a mother who is seen at 25 years old and her son who is now in his 80s. Hubbard and Burschler were very deliberate in creating this two-sided screen as the structure inhibits the viewer from ever seeing both sides at the same time. It points to the idea that memory is not a simple record of events. Memory is dynamic. It's malleable and fluid. In the third room is a work titled Archive, Flora Luella Lewis Mayo, a chronology created by the artist that maps out Flora Mayo's biography, including her intersections with Alberto Giacometti. There's also a collection of the artist's sketchbooks and storyboards relating to the process of creating Flora. And in another section, they lay out an art historical era they discovered in their research. 
The error is about mistaken identity, and it points to how the voices of art history are constructed. Flora is a very emotional and powerful body of work. It revolves around the relationship between a mother and her son, and Mayo's struggles and strengths to defy prescribed roles of gender and motherhood. It also probes timely questions about the authority of art history and speaks to absences, gaps, and omissions in art history. We're thrilled to have this body of work in the collection at the Modern Art Museum of Fort Worth alongside other works by Hubbard and Burschler.